Hi everyone, welcome to our course on Identity Kit in the HMS ecosystem. By integrating the Identity SDK into our app, you can provide convenient address management services for your users. Let's begin. This section consists of three parts. 1. What is the main function of Identity Kit? 2. What open capabilities does Identity Kit provide? 3. What are the benefits of using Identity Kit? What is the main function of Identity Kit? Identity Kit provides address selection and management functions to allow your app to access existing user addresses. What are the advantages of Identity Kit? First and foremost, it improves user experience by enabling users of your app to select the shipping addresses that they had previously entered. Secondly, a comprehensive set of documentation is provided to help you effortlessly integrate Identity Kit into your app. Thirdly, Identity Kit is GDPR compliant and encrypts user data and stores it in a safe way. What open capabilities does Identity Kit provide? Once you integrate Identity Kit into your app, users can select from a list of shipping addresses that they had previously entered with a single touch. Users can also quickly edit and add new addresses on the same screen. Identity Kit allows users to enter detailed shipping information in a standard format, including name, phone number, and address. All personal information is collected in compliance with the GDPR regulations and is subject to strict privacy protections mechanisms. How does Identity Kit benefit your app? Identity Kit provides unified address management services for app users. After obtaining user authorization, your app can directly obtain stored user addresses. In addition, Identity Kit simplifies address related operations in your app, allowing users to select, enter, edit, and search for addresses conveniently on a single page. These features all help to improve user conversion and retention rates for your app. Now that you have an understanding of what Identity Key does, let's move on to the HMS Practice Camp. This section consists of three parts. In this first part, a demonstration of how Huawei Identity Key can be used in a specific scenario is provided. In part two, the preparations for integrating Identity Kit will then be explained, including app project configurations. Lastly, I will demonstrate how to integrate Identity Kit. Part one, demonstration. Nowadays, online shopping and delivery apps are very popular. Such apps need to obtain the addresses of users in order to provide services. So quicker retrieval and display of address information means better user experience. The Identity SDK provides a user address management capability for your app. After completing a simple configuration process, you can start developing services that require users to provide an address. In this demo, we have developed a shopping app using the Identity SDK, which enables users to select an address to use as the shipping address in the app. As you can see, the app provides a Get Huawei User Address button on the shipping address page. A tab on the button will open the Huawei ID Address service page, where a user can select an existing address and tap OK to add the address as a shipping address in the app. Say that we find a product we want in the app. After we tap the Buy It Now button, the app will display the product order page, showing mandatory order information, including price, quantity, 
and shipping address. Tap the shipping address on the address selection page that appears. Select the desired address and tap OK. The addresses will be used as the shipping address for the order. If the address needs to be updated, tap the Edit button next to it. Change the relevant information. For example, phone number and street. And tap the Save icon in the upper right corner. You can also add a new address by tapping the Add icon in the upper right corner. On the Address Edit page, enter a name and a phone number. Select the country or region. Enter an email address. And provide your address information. Then tap the Save icon on the upper right corner to finish adding the address. Now confirm and pay for order. Your product will be delivered by the merchant to the selected shipping address. All we need to do now is sit back and wait patiently for the order to arrive. Now let's take a look at the coding process. But before that, we need to prepare the development environment. This involves three steps. Step 1. Add the Maven repository dependencies to the project level build Grando file for obtaining the HMS SDK. Step 2. Add the AGC dependency to the project level build Gradle file. Step 3. Add the AGC plugin dependency to the header of the app level build Gradle file. Now, we've come to the most exciting part, integrating Identity Kit. With the development environment ready, the next thing to do is to learn how Identity Kit interacts with your app and the users. By doing so, you will gain deeper understanding on how to integrate Identity Kit into your app. When your app requests to use the personal address information of a user, for example, in order to deliver an order to the user's home address, it can send the request by calling the Get User Address API provided by Identity Kit. In response, Identity Kit will return a success of failure callback result. Based on the Get User Address result in the success callback result, your app calls the Start Activity for Result method to display the address selection page of Identity Kit. At this point, your app will open the address selection page for the user. Based on the Huawei ID that is used to access the HMS service, Identity Kit will then send a request to the server to obtain address information of the user. The server will be returned this information. On the address selection page, all of the addresses that the user have provided will be displayed. The user can then select the desired address and tab OK. The user will then be redirected back to your app. Meanwhile, Identity Kit will return the address selected by the user to your app through on activity result. Using this address, your app can perform subsequent operations such as generating an order. How to obtain user address information through the Identity SDK? First, add the Identity SDK dependency to the app level build Gradle file.
Then call the user address request builder method in activity object of the shipping address page of the app to instantiate the user address request object. And call the address get the address client this get user address method. In the task object that is returned, you can define the success and failure handling operations. If the user address is successfully returned, call start activity for result to display the address selection page. After the user selects an address from this page, the identity SDK will return the selected address to our activity result for processing. Finally, call the user address parse intent method to parse the user address. In this way, the user name, phone number, and detailed address are synchronized to your app. For more information about Identity Kit, please visit the Huawei Developer website at developer.huawei.com slash consumer slash en. From the menu bar, go to Developer, HMS Core, More, find the Identity Kit card, and click it. On the page that displays, you will find a short description about Identity Kit. Click View Documents to view the development guide, and then click References to view all the APIs of Identity Kit. These guides and references will help you quickly learn and integrate Identity Kit into your app. Today, we learned what Identity Kit is and how to integrate it into your app. To learn more about Identity Kit, please visit the Huawei Developer website. Thanks for watching.